Hey, what's up, y'all? My name's Raj. I'm the owner and doctor of physical therapy at 3CB Performance in West Los Angeles. If you're new to my videos, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be going over my third tip on how to improve your running performance while threatening injury in order to hit your running goals. In this video specifically, I'll be going over the four training principles that you can incorporate into your running plan in order to hit those goals. All right, so I've laid out the four training principles here. The first one is week over week running progression. The general rule of thumb for week over week running distance is no more than a 10% increase in running mileage or kilometers or whatever metric you're using to measure your run, your run lengths. The key for this is that 10% allows for both your body and your mind to acclimate appropriately to a newer distance, which then helps you run better and keeps you running injury free. Second aspect is using both aerobic and anaerobic training. Aerobic training, think low intensity, longer duration. Anaerobic, think high intensity, short duration, so like, like hill runs. And the reason for that is both the aerobic and anaerobic systems intermingle with one another. So you layering anaerobic training on top of aerobic training is actually gonna help you become better at aerobic, stay in that aerobic mode for longer, which is gonna help with your running performance. And also a key thing, it's gonna help with your recovery as well. The third aspect, the third principle, and arguably, arguably the most important when it comes to preventing running injury is appropriate strength training. The reality of running is that it puts a big load on certain musculature in your body, specifically in your foot extrinsic muscles and lower body, some of which take up to nine times your body weight. So then it's vital to train those muscles to be strong and have endurance so that when you are running, that they're not failing. So it does help keep you running with your, with your mechanics. It helps you keep, keep, keep you injury free for those longer distance runs. And the last aspect is an effective warm-up. Like I touched upon with strength training, there are certain muscles in your, in your body that you use for running that are critical for running. So those muscles need to be warmed up and also what I call activated or muscle potentiation. And that's been shown that contracting a muscle and warming it up actually leads to subsequent stronger muscle contractions. So an appropriate and targeted lower body warm-up is really vital to increasing your performance while keeping you injury free. So those are the four training principles. In the next video, tip number four, I'll go into what I call the external or holistic variables that you can address in order to keep you running better, longer while preventing injury. As always, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe and then please leave questions or comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.